In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an Alibi Vigilant cameras and Alibi Witness cameras to an Alibi Vigilant NVR. Now, you need to open up a web browser and type in the IP address or NVR. Now, if you don't know that offhand, you can use the Alibi Vigilant toolbox and search for that reporter's IP address that's on your local network. Um, in this example, we're going to use the ALI-NR320P-4. So from there, you can go ahead and log in. And this recorder is a 32 channel. It does have 16 built-in PoE channels and uh, the additional 16 will need to be added on your local network. Um, so from there we can go to setup and then down to camera. Now currently I have two cameras already plugged in. So these added via plug and play and just automatically added. On channel one is an Alibi Vigilant camera. Um, as you can see, it has the uh, private protocol it also has the built-in internal NIC address of 172.16.0.x. On channel 2 is actually an Alibi Witness camera that plug and played. It was default out of the box. Um, with that, uh, there's a built-in password that the Vigilant NVRs carry that will automatically activate the Alibi Witness camera with a password of capital I, lowercase PC123456. And we can actually verify that by coming over here to the access link, type in our password, IPC123456, and this would actually log in to that camera. From there, uh, I'm going to show you how to add cameras that are on the local network for your LAN. So, an easy way of doing it is clicking the add button. Um, from here, you can actually type in the IP address if you know the IP address, or you can actually search the local network, which is the quick and easiest way. So the first camera we're going to look for is an Alibi Vigilant camera, which is, we're going to add this one right here, and we just simply click OK, and it'll auto fill in. The default password is entered at 12456, and we just hit Save, and this will just add automatically. Now what this is going to do, since we hit the add button, this is actually going to add it to channel 17. Um, it's not adding it to the next available channel, uh, plug and play channel. So be aware of that. And I'll show you how to modify this a plug and play channel to, to an IP address for manually adding after this. I'll simply just refresh after a few minutes, a few seconds. And you see it's, it is connecting and now you see it is online. We can also verify that from the live view. Um, here's our two plug and play channels that we have. And then additionally, down here is our channel 17, which we just quick added. And let's go back to the camera now. And we'll go ahead and add another one, uh, an Alibi a witness camera. For this, we're going to have to open up our Alibi, uh, excuse me, Alibi discovery tool. Um, so this camera is default, and you'll see the it shows inactive with the default IP address. So what we're going to need to do is activate this, this camera. Now the device is activated. I'm going to cancel the security questions for now. Um, now we need to give it to an address that's on our local network. So the easiest way is just to enable DHCP. Type in our password to modify, and now it is complete. And we can refresh this um, and wait for the new address to appear. And here it is 10.41. So we could come in here, and because this is out by witness camera, we could set it to Sonvif and then manually type in the address and username and password. But the Vigilant recorders are smart enough to actually just do a search as well. So it'll actually search that for those cameras as well. You'll see it is on VIF. And we just simply hit OK. And then type in the password that we made, that we activated that camera with. And we hit Save. And we just wait for it to add. And again, this is going to add to the, the next available channel at the bottom. So that in this case, channel 18. And it is successfully added online. Let's go ahead and remove those, and I will show you the uh, process of adding them to the next available channel. Let's say the rest of your cameras are on the 
on the network you don't have any more plug and play channels. What you can do here is come to channel 3, you can modify this, change from plug and play to set to IP address. And again, you can set your settings here, manually type them in. Again, I like to use this easy search feature. Again, we're going to search for that first uh, Alibi Vigilant camera, which is our XB81-UZAI. Click OK. It still has a default password of 123456, so we're just going to leave that in there and hit OK. And we'll refresh it a few times. And you'll see it come online. And it'll even populate the model number for you. So next, if you also want to do an alibi witness camera, the process is pretty much the same. Change from plug and play to IP address. Again, if you want to type in this information yourself, you know, you're more than welcome. I like to do the easiest search again. And we're going to look for that ALI-NS2023R. And there's the information there. We just hit OK. Um, we do want to use OnDiff port 80, of course, and then we will manually type in our password that we activated the camera with. So basically the process is the same. The add button on this, on this recorder will add it to any channel after your plug and play channels. Um, or you can come in here and modify plug and play to, to an IP address and manually enter it. And you'll see they'll, they'll come online here and we can verify from the live view. successful.